Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to cook some nitrocellulose because it's a fun activity and nitrocellulose has an interesting history. So let's dive right into it. These are the chemicals that will be needed. Cotton, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, distilled water, acetic acid and sodium bicarbonate solution. I began by measuring out about 800 milliliters of 70% ice cold nitric acid and added it to a big ice cooled flask. Because the addition of sulfuric to nitric acid is slightly exothermic, I set up an addition funnel in order to do it slowly. I added 900 milliliters of sulfuric acid. When I mix concentrated sulfuric with concentrated nitric acid, I obtain a mixture that is called nitrating mixture. The sulfuric acid, which acts as a dehydrating agent, basically speeds up the esterification of any hydroxyl group by the nitric acid. This way, basically any alcohol can be converted to the nitric acid ester. Under the removal of water, the nitric acid ester is found via this mechanism. And as you can see, each cellulose building block has three hydroxy groups, so in theory, you can react it three times with nitric acid. To start off with the actual reaction, I ripped off some cotton and threw it into the flask. In total, we are gonna stuff the flask with about 80 to 100 grams of cotton. It's beautiful. The cotton is now slowly being nitrated and we're gonna leave it in here for about two hours in an ice bath and then one hour at 50 degrees Celsius. Once done, I decanted off most of the nitrating mixture and then added a ton of distilled water. The main objective for now is to get rid of as much of the acid as possible and after four washes with distilled water, I washed it another time in sodium bicarbonate solution. I dried it in a towel, but now there's another step. Some of the hydroxy groups on the cellulose form esters of sulfuric acid and if I leave those in the finished product, it's not as shelf stable as when I get rid of them. I can easily remove them by putting them in hot acetic acid and letting it stand for two hours. During that time, the sulfuric acid esters are selectively cleaved, leaving us with nitrated cellulose without sulfur attached. I decanted off the acid, washed it three times with distilled water and put it on a towel again. I ended up drying the nitrocellulose in a vacuum desiccator overnight and the next day had a nice bag of clean nitrocellulose. Unfortunately, I forgot to film this part, although it would have been fun to show. But we already burned through most of it. So here you can have a look at what was left after I thought about even taking out the camera. <laughs> Alright, all of you are here just for one thing, seeing me burn this stuff, and I am not gonna make you wait any longer. Oh, okay, good, that's the name of Is it ready? Yeah. After multiple failed attempts of throwing it at the elongated lighter, yeah. we just place it on the ground. And there you have it, this is the beautiful whoosh that happens when you burn nitrocellulose. We burn most of it because I really don't need any nitrocellulose lying around. Like, there's no actual lab use for it. But I am going to use the remainder of it to prepare a solution in ethyl acetate. The solution can be used as glue or as a water-resistant coating for different materials. But you could also mix it with coarse titanium powder, dry it, stretch it out into a stick and make a special sort of sparkler. I didn't film the sparkler thing as I just messed around with it, but I'm throwing out some ideas if any one of you wants to experiment with this. Anyways, this is how we make nitrocellulose. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I know that I haven't uploaded more videos in quite some time because I have been preoccupied with other projects, but I am currently editing two videos that are gonna be online once I film one last part of them that is not actually much work. I published quite a lot of stuff on Reddit lately and if you want to check that out make sure to give it a look. You can find the link in the description. 
I'm also filming another Patreon-only video on beta keto tryptamines, as YouTube would 100% give me a strike for it, and as I still need to finance it somehow. But as I think that knowledge should be free, I am gonna publish a written procedure on Reddit as well. Have a nice day. Lastly, I would like to thank all of my Patreons, because without you guys, all of this wouldn't be possible. So thanks for that.